Hi, this is CB, and we're going to be continuing with this My First Layout sort of theme. When you're using elements the first time and getting comfortable, <laughs> I like the way I said that, comfortable with um, working with your program here to make some decent looking layouts. So I've got pretty much what we had ended up with at the last one. I've got the photo, I've got a tag. Let me close this effects palette here so you can see my layers palette a little better. Uh, text on top of this tag layer so that it's showing on top of the tag and a picture of my son and the background paper. The first thing I want to talk about this time is we want to link this text layer with the tag so that anytime I move one the other moves with it since it's supposed to be writing on top of this tag and in fact one thing I forgot to do here is I've lowered the opacity of this text a little bit probably to about 85 so it looks like it's sort of bled into the paper a bit so now that I've done that I'm gonna click on this text layer hold down my shift key to the tag right below it if this layer I wanted to link was not right below it I'd use the control or command key but I'm wanting to use the shift key so hold that down and now both these layers are selected click this little link icon here which will link the two layers that do exactly what we wanted so that if I move one layer now with the move tool I've got it selected and I'm click and drag it around it's moving the text layer along with it so now that I'm in the move tool and with my show bounding box selected up here I have the ability to rotate pretty quickly and easily uh, right now you probably can't see it on the screen but my cursor's turned into a little double headed arrow that's bent I'm hovering right near one of these corners of my tag right near the bounding box corner if I click once now I'm in the transform tool and I could resize at this point if I wanted by hovering right on one of those um, one of those little squares in the corner and click and then drag out like that but what I really want to do is rotate so I'm going to hover just outside of the tag I've got the little double headed arrow again that you probably can't see I'm clicking and I'm now pulling down a bit and it's rotating this tag so I like that I'm going to click the check on the checkbox here and commit that the next thing to do is I want to add a shadow to this to get a little more realistic to it and that's this effects palette that I had open up a second ago I'll open it back up this second choice right here are where you get the layer styles which is where your drop shadow is considered a layer style you choose it from this box right here when you open it up that's one of the choices here you can see is drop shadows and this is one of the presets the one I like to use probably where I would start with is this low shadow so I double click it or click it once and hit apply and if you look over here you can see it's already added it there's a little bit of a just a blurry black shadow to this and if you go into the layers palette let me um, close that back up for a second here so you can see the layers palette a bit we've got this little FX here which indicates the layer style if I wasn't happy with the distance of this if I thought that it looked like the tag was hovering off the page a little too much I can double click on this and it brings up my style settings and you see I have a distance slider for my drop shadow as well as size size sort of is that blur that you get around it if I take it out more you'll notice it blurs out a bit more but that's not really too bad I think I would just bump the distance oops not that low maybe but just a little less for this tag and then click OK I do the same thing with the photo then I just click on that I go into effects click a low shadow probably hit apply then I go in here double click that FX and bring the size down probably in this case eh, probably the distance a little bit too I'm paying attention to this corner right here but uh, maybe I'll pull the yeah I don't want it anyways you know you just sit there and you play with it until you get what you wanted so click OK so now we've got some shadows on this and learned how to link layers and, and got us a little bit more forward in making a nice looking layout I would maybe bring in some more embellishments at this point and add the shadows to it and then save it and consider it done I'm CB and thanks for watching